Hello, uh, this is my first live commentary of a game. Uh, found this a while ago, Kerbal Space Program, currently in the alpha build. It's uh, pretty cool. I'm gonna try to show you how to build a really cool space plane. Okay, let's start the game. I'm recording with reps, so it might be a bit laggy. Okay, I'll go. Hang on, I'll go into the space plane hangar. As you can see, I have built quite a few planes in the past, and the one I'm going to show you is my biplane 2, which flies really well, looks really cool, retro, like Red Bull Air Race or something. Looks like this. I think it has that kind of cool Red Baron look or something. Well, it's just a double decker, it's not a triple decker. but. Let's build it. So I'll, I'm going to start with the M MK2 cockpit, which it's a nice frame. The canopy looks kind of like we used to in the olden days. So where do I begin? And I'm going to add some fuel tanks. And this was a critical part. I had a lot of trouble to get this to work really well because right here we need a structure of fuselage to get some gain some balance turns out this kind of build is hard to achieve balance and I also want an SAS module mm. or do I? I don't know we'll check it out let's explore that I want one of these struts this is not standard this is a mod I guess or I guess it is a mod. Doesn't come with the game. And I want to place this on top like so. Yeah, that's good. <coughs> and I want another fuel tank here. So in total I will have three fuel tanks. Now this is the base, the base fuselage I guess. Uh, I'm gonna add some wings main part. Yep, and I'm going to turn on symmetry. Do as so. Just uh, nice straight wings. That should be enough. And I'm going to copy those. I do that by holding Alt. Pressed. Now I'm going to add a few of I guess these are most for looks, but I think it looks it looks the part. So I'm gonna copy these, turn on symmetry again, and I'm gonna position those slightly forward, like that. Now this won't fly, of course. Uh, so let's continue. We'll add some struts in between here to get our stability up. Is on, and I want to. I want to. Wanted to look the part actually, so I'm gonna be kind of do this right. I want one here. Let's see if I can add them there, like so. And I'm gonna see that they intersect nicely, like that. Looks kind of cool, I guess. I think so. quite an easy build, now that I think about it. What I do want, since this is a fuel tank, this is a fuel tank, and this is a fuel tank, I want all of those to feed into the engine that will actually sit at the rear. <laughs> this program only uses jet engines and rocket engines, so I can't have a prop, sadly. I can have a prop, or a prop prop, I guess, <laughs> if you want to be like that. Look at this. Oh, all right. It looks like a propeller. Nice. Let's see. What do I want? I want an engine. And since this is a low, low, this isn't like from flying out in outer space. It really doesn't have a capability. I'm just gonna want gonna gonna go for one of the weak ones. This has like a thrust, maximum thrust of 100, 
hundred. I don't know. I don't know what units they count thrust in in this game. But even so, and then I'm gonna add some of these external fuel ducts so I can channel the fuel from this tank down to this tank. Cross feed, cross feed between those, and then from here to here. Ah oh, no, that doesn't work. But these wings are cross fuel capable, so I'm, I'm gonna add one like this, and that should work pretty well, I think. Now, we do want some wheels, and I'm gonna go for that, you know, slanted or upward tilting look. I'm gonna add one wheel in the back here, to, and then I'm gonna have to build some something to hold the front wheels. Let's see, uh, I'm dribbling about in the menus here. I'm gonna go for these Cosmos packaging. This is from the Cosmos pack. So these will allow me to, oh, I'm gonna just gonna build one to start with. I'm gonna build it straight down because it's easier to position everything. All right, this is from the Cosmos pack, which is a nice pack of extra parts downloaded you can download it from the form on the Kerbal Space Program homepage. Uh, like so, I'm going to turn on symmetry. And like so, and I'm, I'm going to tilt shift, tilt shift them in a bit. So, like so, that looks kind of good. I'm going to copy this. I can do that by holding an Alt key down. Moving it like so. Looks kind of long, I guess. I'm going to shorten this down a tiny bit. Oh, sorry. Now it looks kind of narrow, so I'm going to do this all over again. But I'm going to use one of these and one shorter Cosmos packaging. To, uh, Jig, I guess it's called, yeah. Uh, this is kind of like Lego, but you get to fly your things into space. The game has actually two moons in its current current edition that you can fly to. Uh, it's based, I guess, on the Unity. No, not Unity. I don't know what, which engine it runs on, but kind of nice, simple graphics, though. That looks good. Copy this, so, oops, and tilt them down. Oh, I want these. Oh, tilt it up more. Oh, like, oops, like that. Now we're talking. Sadly, it doesn't have that many part yet, parts yet. And, oof, I really want those. That facing front. All right, and of course we're gonna have to add some struts because otherwise this won't work. Like that nice. No, nope. I'm gonna go for. I really like the looks. Uh, the looks are important to me when I build something like this. So I'm gonna go with thinner struts here, like that, and also struts up to the wings just for extra stability. Now this is probably ready to fly. No, it's not. Sorry. We, we really, really need some stabilizer, uh, some wings back here for for the lift and also for stability and steerability. This is a nimble airplane. Um, it flies really easily. Uh, you, can, you can do all sorts of devilish trickery with it. So it's kind of cool. Can I place one over the hose? Yeah, I can. And this one I can place right up there. Hmm. And of course I want one, one, one center as well for horizontal steering. And I want, ah, doesn't look good. I want a strut over here as well, just for looks and a little bit for stability. And I almost forgot one of the most important things in the whole to make this baby fly. 
notice that now. Let's see. Put one here. Like so. One here. No. Didn't work. Still alpha build, remember remember remember. <laughs> Alright, like that looks kind of cool, but we do need we do need some more control surfaces. Like so, like so. All right, I want to see if this baby flies. Let's try it out. By plane three. Since this is the third I build, let's see if it's the best. Remember, I have done no stability testing. Uh, weight distribution is really important in this game. All right, so this is this is the main game. This is the landing strip over there. We have our oh, what's going on out there? Looks weird. Uh, there's our launch tower for rockets. If we build rockets, okay. So let's go ahead. Oh, oh, um, sorry, everything fell apart. I remember forgot to separate the stages. See, all these are struts and uh, the struts here are kind of like if you ah, what's it called separated separators I guess when you push space you go through the stages we have on here on your right so when you build and I want to launch my engine first of all and then I don't want to do anything else basically if I, if I push space twice I will basically cr disintegrate my own plane okay let's try it save launch clear the runway of the wreckage last failed attempt. Alright, let's see. Okay, we got our engine down here. We got our fuel th tanks. Let's get a gas. Okay, got some. Yep. Yeah. This usually doesn't shouldn't have to be at too high speed to take off. Alright, look at that. Whoa. -ho. Flies quite well. Uh, when I first built this one a while ago, it took like a few hours to get it airworthy. But now, of course, once you know how to do something, it's always easier. Oh, it flies quite nice level. It's I guess it slowly pitches up, which is better than slowly pitching down. And this is a, a nimble aircraft. Uh, you can basically do kind of wild maneuvers with it. Um, when I first got this game, I really, I, I mostly built rockets, sending, I mean, with mods, sending up space stations and going to planet, uh, the moons and stuff like that. But once this point fifteen zero point fifteen version came out, I've been building a lot of space planes, just trying to see what's possible. I mean, I know this isn't X-Plane 10 or something that's really advanced, but it's, it's kind of interesting. And very addictive. Uh, I gave up playing Battlefield for this, basically. Uh, I, I lost interest in Battlefield with all its fancy graphics and amazing gameplay uh, and just turned this one because it's, well, why destroy things when you can build them? Uh, yeah. I also gave up Diablo 3. <laughs> Let's land this baby. This is a rugged little airplane. I guess you should be able to land just about anywhere. Unless it's in the water. I built some planes that are hard to land because they have so much lift so that you have to like be down to a few few meters per second to, or 30 meters per second to even get them to touch down. Alright, and we have touched down. You can break with the B, B button, but that usually means that you Turn it, turn it on its nose, like so. Whoa! And destroy the aircraft. Aircraft. But in this game, you can build without limits. You don't have a budget. You just yeah, you just build and flight and flight. Space plane, ha space plane hangar, and you have your nice V uh, airplane back hole again. So this was my short tutorial for video on how to build an airplane or a biplane in Kerbal Space Program. It's an awesome game. Check it out.
going to put a link to the forum and the homepage of the game in the description. Please support this company. They make a really awesome product. I can't wait to see see what what they're going to do in, in upcoming up, updates. And uh, I think next time I, may, I might show you how to build a nice rocket with mods to go to the moon. Thanks for th thanks for watching.